Hi, Alex. Welcome back to our channel. I am sitting in my car right now. I went to the Salvation Army and I just wanted to show you guys what I had, um, what I got from there. But I wanted to bring you guys a quick update on our current situation. So as of now, unfortunately, we are still not able to go back into our house. So this fire happened around Sunday, early Sunday morning. It is now Wednesday and we are not, um, they have not given us the okay to go back into the house. So we had to replace the meter, the wire from the outside to the inside of the house and Pepco has to come and pass the inspection before it is okay and safe for us to go back. I'm hoping they gave us a date as tomorrow but I don't know because I was thinking more like uh, Tuesday that this was going to happen which was yesterday and we're still left um, you know without being able to access our house. So I just want to say thank you guys so so very much for each and everyone who has left a comment of encouragement of your love and support to me and my family. It it really keeps us going and we've read every single comment and I just want to say thank you to you guys for for that it's been tough for us it's been difficult you know just imposing on my sister bringing our family all my family over to our house and I know that's kind of difficult when you're not expecting a whole family to come over to your house but it was a fire and unfortunately that was not something that we could prevent or predict so I do want to say thank you to everyone the firefighter my sister you know my husband my kids everyone who has been putting up and dealing with this current situation that we've been going through but again you know it could have been worse and we are safe we are making it we're pulling through and we should be back in our house no later by the end of the week so just so you guys know I am so sorry that I'm not able to give you guys you know the full um, hauls and everything I'm gonna have to do like you know random hauls here and there until I can really get back in and understand and my loyalty is with you guys so whatever it is that I need to do to let you guys know that I'm still okay the kids are okay and I can try to do a haul every once in a while I will do that so uh, please like subscribe and comment and let me show you guys what I found at the Salvation Army today so I stopped there after work I, I just actually just got off and I'm just sitting in my car I have to go into my sister's house in a few minutes but I got this little container thing right here so it's a plastic container there is nine drawers on here and you pull this part out so I was thinking maybe I can keep my like my beads in here and stuff but it's pretty it's pretty long and it's pretty deep so this is um, going to be great for keeping my beads or any kind of little knickknacks that I have and this was $2.99 and on Wednesday they actually do like half off and it's usually only on like clothes and accessory but the lady there she just gave me half off of of all the stuff that I got so I got this which is this little container here that will um, you know be used for my beads and then I then I got this big old bag of like a whole bunch of stuff so this was $40 but you know I didn't pay $40 for this I paid uh, $20 because she gave me half off on here so I'm gonna open this and see if this is even worth the uh, $40 so let me put you guys on pause for a second I'll go ahead and open that bag and we'll start pulling out some random stuff all right, so I ripped the bag and I'm just gonna take the stuff out from here and put it into this bag. So I'm just gonna grab a few items. So I got this and these are like um, little, what do you call this thing again? This is what you put on top of the charm, oh, bead caps. So they're in gold and you guys know I need a gold um, stuff for when I make my charm. So this is how they look. So they're little bead caps. And there is, I can't really tell how much was is in here, but they might be like about 10. And there's no price on this one specifically, but here is the little bead caps. So if I was to buy this, like say on Wish, that would be about $2. So that's that. And then I have another one here. So this is the same, this is bead caps also, but it's a different uh, type. So this one looks like this. This, more, this is more like a, like a stem. So here is this, and there's, I think there's about maybe 10 in here also. So here is this one. Then there are some other ones here. And these one are like the first one that I showed you guys. But here is the little bead caps. These are so cute. When you put these on charms, they really make the charm look more elegant and more sophisticated. So here is these little bead caps. Then I got um, a bunch of like wooden different um, shapes of wooden beads. I don't use too many of these type of beads on my charm. I may put one or two just to have, you know, just a few, but I don't really use too much of those. 
here is some more um these like the this one was this one says 249 and this is the just um some like uh, flat round beads so here is this one and this is 16 inches so that one was almost three bucks and then there's some more here so this is like a multi-color pack one of the same thing and this one here was I guess from wherever this MJD design this one was originally 249 and they marked it down to 125 but here is these beads right here um, some green beads for $2 um, I don't know if these have the hole or these are just like decoration bees, beads. I don't think these have holes so these couldn't go on the charm itself because they don't have the hole to, to stick the um, the pins through. So that was in there. Here are some red ones. Actually these are brown. Brown uh, wooden beads. Then there's this pack right here. Some more bead caps. So um, this, there's a lot in here. So, um, some more bead caps, a lot in there. Uh, what is this? Oh, just a gem. A gem. It's like a little treasure hunt. We don't know what we're going to find. Oh, these are pretty. Look at this. These are like decorative bead, but they're in blue and green. Let me see if I can open this. If there's, is there a price on here? So, this one here is from Fire, Fire Mountain Gem. Uh, hold on for a second. Let me see if I can open that. Okay, so I got it out of the bag and look how pretty these are. If you were to buy these from Michael, these are like uh, three, four, five dollars um, at Michael. So these are very pretty. And I got those. And I just took that out of there. Then I got some of these bronze looking. What are these? Like little door. Oh, they're um. Are they, an not anchors, are they, I don't know what these are. Does anybody know what these are? But they're like little charms and this metal product contain very amount of lead. Oh, not suitable for children. So that's wonderful. So I probably won't be using these. But this is, or maybe this is not even the bag that, um, they might have just put this in here. I don't know, but that's what's in there. And then there is this pack that I just dropped. And these are a whole bunch of like, you can make earrings out of these. They're like little, um, like more like a bronzy color, um, like little earrings or whatever. Let's see if I can open this up. Okay, so these are how these look in the bag maybe I can clean these up and make them back into the original color because I it's like more of not a gold color more of like a um, you know, like like a bronzy color which I'm not a fan of but um, so these are a bunch of charms here All right, so it looks like I got some more of these pink the bigger of the um, um, wooden beads some more of the different shape ones some more of those. Um, some more of those earrings ones. It just remind me of like earrings. Then I got some of these. What are these? Oh, and some bigger bead caps. And this one here was one ninety nine. And oh, look, a little fish. Is it a? Is it a? Um, can I use this for? Is there a hole on here? It might just be a wooden like decoration because I don't think I... Oh yeah, it does. Look. So if you guys need a fish on your charm, there is a fish there. What are these? Okay, so this is... um. don't know. Hold on. Let me take it out of this. That's what was in that bag. And there, it looks like some like just um, some charms and some random... Um, um, what is this thing called? Uh, I don't know. I, I know what it is, but I can't think of the name right now. Um, there's a little anchor there. So a few little charms in, in this little um, Ziploc bag. Let me go ahead and put that back in there. Okay, let's see what else we got. So we got some more of these, um, these uh, uh, multicolor ones. 
We got some blue ones, 99 cents. Then what is this? Oh, I needed some um, some gold uh, gauge wire. So this is pretty cool. So I can use this when I'm um, doing because I don't have any gold gauge wire. So I, I needed this. So this is perfect. I'm glad I got that in here. Here is the green ones. Wow, these are pretty also. I like white and I'm sorry, not green. I don't even know my color. So this one, this is like white. This is white. Sorry, I'm going to move my sleeve up. So here is this one here. With the with the yellow flower, very pretty. Um some more of these um uh, these ones here. Some more of these different shapes. Uh, what are these? Oh, these are like earrings. The I think you can use these to make earrings, right? What are they called? Let's see. So this one here was two ninety nine. Oh, they're ear clips with ball. So I guess you can ch make these into earrings. So wherever this place is, West Trim, that's where you can get this for two ninety nine. Some more gold bead caps. There's a lot in here. And what's in here? Oh, some just um, some light, uh, like pink um, gems, but cannot use for charms because there is no hole. Um, some more bead caps in bead. And this one here are some bananas. Are these banana? Ooh, I can use these. These are banana charms for 99 cents. Small wooden banana. That's what it says on the um, on the packet. All right, some more pink. Um, some little um, lobster clasp. There's two in here, and this was 99 cents. Some more like loose. Um, beads um, some more just like gems for a dollar I'm not sure what can I do with these because I can't use them for something for that maybe decoration oh look oh my god look how pretty this is this is really pretty it's like a resin um, pendant Okay, let me pull. Let me go a little faster. Some more of these um, beads. Some. Oh, the blue one. Did I show you guys the blue one? Let me take this one out of the packet. Okay, so they're not like the one that I showed you guys before, but look how pretty these are. So they look like this. They're glass and they're like blue and clear beads very pretty i like these and there's about 10 in here for that and let's see if there's a price on here so here is the place where these beads came from fire mountain gems and here they are and of course if i use any of these charms or beads i am definitely going to sanitize them before i use it whoa what is this it's a big bag of a big bad bag big bad or big bad of a big bag of link something chain. I'm not gonna open this so you guys can see this through the packet, but they're like little like links. Hopefully I can be able to use this. There's a hundred piece in here. There is some jump ring in this bronze color, so I can definitely use these. Some, uh, some flat like gems. Some more of these uh, spacer beads, I think. The hundred pieces in here, and like this is like what you put in between the beads. So I definitely have to clean this out. Um. I don't know what this is. 
see if it says it on here. Bead bone? I don't know. Let's take it out. So it must look it must be like a bracelet or something, but what a beautiful, like different different type of bead. It is not glass, it's like a wooden wooden bead and it's like brown and and I got two in this um, in this bag. Uh, hopefully it is focusing for you guys. So here it is right here. Some tiny little something. Some more of these beads. I got so many of those beads. I might just give them away. Um, some of this light pink of the chip glass glass beads uh, oh these are nice uh, more some more it's like the um what is what is this what is this a hundred piece of what more bead caps maybe our little little um charms they might be little charms our connections Little connections. Some more of these. And this is pretty. This little um, white uh, pearl bead right there. Here's the $39, but I paid $20. And some, oh, some leaf charms. Some leaf charm. Can I use these? Do, do they have the hole anywhere? Oh, you know what? I might not be able to use these, but either way, it's very pretty. Some more just loose gem. Some turtle. Some turtle. Uh, some turtle. Turtle charms. Gold. Gold turtle charms. Okay. I'm almost to the end. Some more of the earring things. Some of the green um, beads. Some the other green beans, and I'm just gonna show you guys in here because these are all like loose stuff. The rest of it is just in the pack. Oh, my radio just turned on. Sorry, guys. Um, some more. Oh, these are very pretty. Some some silver charms. So I'll definitely be using these um, for earrings or for to put on the charm itself. Some more of these. If anybody won these um, things, let me know because I have too many. I'm definitely not going to be using all of that. So here is this rock for 75 cents. And it's a Barn Night, Arizona. Some random stuff here. Another one. Oh, I got a few of these ones which I am definitely going to use. I like those. Some more of these. Some of that. I'm just going to stick my hand in here and sh just like pull out some, some stuff. I don't want to um, I don't want to take them out because these are all loose, loose items in here. So I definitely have to go through these and separate the ones that I can use and the ones that I can't use. I will, um, you know, put them in a bag and donate them back to the Salvation Army guys. So this is all the stuff I got in this bag. Um, do you guys think it was worth the $20 that I paid? I think so. So thanks for letting me share this um, bag from the Salvation Army with you guys. I'm about to go in that house and get something to eat and then um, I'll give you guys another update soon to see if I am able to go back into my house, hopefully tomorrow. Alright, enjoy your day, and I will see you guys soon. Please subscribe, like, and comment.